What up, though? I'm in the midst of doing my first delivery in this bitch. It's far. It's a stop and shop. And we're freaking, freaking, um, Weathersfield Ave. And I gotta take this shit down. Avon out this morning. It's crazy. But, it is what it is. But my 49ers, man, they did good last night. Even though, even with the loss, take this off. I hate, I hate wearing hats or anything covering my head. Inside. Excuse, excuse the noise, excuse the noise. Uh, hold up, one second, one second, one second. Hey, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. But um, 49 is looking good this year, man. You know, we, we, we caught the L last night. That, that game was crazy. And the thing is, um, they have this uh, movie theater in downtown Hartford called Front, Front Street. And uh, I guess uh, whenever there's like a big game, I don't know if some Niners fans got a deal there or whatever, but whenever they have a, a big time game, Monday night game or whatever, they rent it out. And, yo, that shit was live. It was like, that was the closest, because I've never been to an NFL game before. You know what I mean? Like, that was the closest experience I've, I've ever had of, like, being at a football game. I know it was that many 49er fans in Hartford. But you understand, you got to understand, like, the 49er legacy runs deep. You dig? You got three titles in the 90s. I mean, sorry, three titles in the 80s, and we got we got uh, two in the 90s. So from basically like 84 to like 95 for like 20 years, we got uh, five championships. With championships breeds fans. That's just the way it go. Game was a good game. It was. It was. Heart wrenching. We didn't have our best offensive player, Kittle, the tight end. He had to sit out. I forgot why. I forget why. And then um, Emmanuel Sanders got hurt in the second quarter. So that was our second best uh, top receiver. He got hurt. And they literally said, because um, I saw parts of the first half when I was doing comedy. So it was hard for me to really pay attention to it. I was at a bar or whatever. I didn't really get a chance to really pay attention to the game until I went in the, in the second half. But um, they said as soon as Emmanuel Sanders went down, they just it changed the dynamic of the, of the of our team because you know we got we got Debo Samuel and some other kid I don't, I don't know a couple other receivers, but they just uh, they're just they're just unproven, right? Just not even though Debo Debo Samuel Debo Samuel got it in though. Every time he get a big catch, the whole crowd was like Debo. That shit, that shit was dope. That shit was fire. But um, yeah, just change the dynamic of the game. The game, game could have went either way though. Right? It was like big fumble. Like we were down. What I want to say. Twenty. It was like twenty-one to ten, something like that. Something crazy. Like we was getting our ass busted. We was down two scores and then. We got a fumble recovery for a touchdown. They got one. They got a fumble recovery for a touchdown. We got a fumble recovery for a touchdown. And then we got we got the two point conversion. So it was eighteen to twenty one. We wound up getting the ball back, and then we tied it up to go into overtime. So that was dope. Uh, Seattle got the ball first, man. This cat, man, Russell Wilson was doing his magic. Every you know, Russell, it's hard to sack that dude. Every time you think you're about to sack him, this dude just do a little, little shoulder move, a little spin move, and get out of danger. I fucks with Russell Wilson. I'm, I'm actually a fan. I'm the, the crazy thing is I don't dislike um I don't dislike Seattle. I actually fuck with Seattle, but I, obviously I'm gonna fuck with the Niners first because that's my team. But anyway, it was it was one point um in the fourth quarter, man. I mean, like for overtime. We just, it was like third and 16 or some shit. Third and 20 something. And we was about to sack this motherfucker deep. This motherfucker just spun off and then ran up and got, no, it was like second and long. I'm sorry. 
he spun off. It was like second, like 20 something. And he did like some type of spin move. Like, like they grabbed his shoulder pads. He just spun off, ran up, you know what I mean? Tripped up into 30 16. And he threw a, a fucking 28 yard pass. So they was in scoring range and shit, field goal range. And I, I think a couple of plays later, he tried to throw to somebody to the corner, the right corner or whatever. And then I forget who um, hopped up and caught the uh, interception on the Niners side. But we almost took that motherfucker back to the house. It was like a 40, 50 yard return. But uh, I think we had a couple, couple of bad plays, whatever. We was within 42 yards of the, of the field goal. And the same kicker that put us in that position to go into overtime in the first place, yo, home, home shanked that field goal horribly. It like, that shit was low and wide left. It had no chance whatsoever. Yo. So, like, we had the game in the hand right there. We could have won that with, with banged up wide receivers, bang, a banged up, a banged up uh, tight end. Yep. That was a lot of pressure on a rookie. That rookie was undrafted. You know what I'm saying? Like, he just did a pre he did a pressureful thing, putting us in that position in the first place. You know what I'm saying? But I'm, I'm like, yo, if if you was there, it was probably over 149 fans in that in that movie theater. If you was after the loss, like we wasn't even really mad like that. After a while, I mean, it was the game was getting kind of late. You know, people got to get up and go to work. So I think people just wanted it to be over. Like, okay, like if we're gonna lose. We gonna lose. I mean, obviously, if we would have won, that shit would have been awesome. I wanted to, I wanted to get the footage of people just acting a fool. I got some footage like after we got the interception and after we got big plays and field goals and shit. I got some Instagrams, whatever. So that was dope. But we gave Russell Wilson another chance. It was like a minute and some change left, man. And we we gave Russell Wilson another chance, and then he got within forty yards. You know, almost getting sacked a couple of times, scrambling like a motherfucker. This dude was playing like Adam Sandler in the longest yard out this bitch. Can't, yo, Russell Wilson probably arguably the best player in the league right now, yo. He can't, he can't leave that shit in his hands, man, with a minute and a half left with them a with a chance to win. Nine times out of ten, this motherfucker's like probably better than Brady when it comes to that situation. He gonna win, man. Cause Brady got the arm, but this cat got the arms and he got the feet. That shit was ridiculous, man. But, you know, with all those injuries and stuff like that, as hard as we play, sometimes you need a loss like that to keep you, like, to make you even more hungry. Like, yo, we're not letting this bullshit happen like this again, man, you know? And uh, I forget who it was, but one, one of the wide receivers on the Niners just kept dropping, like, big passes, left and right, passes hitting them in the numbers. But then, on the flip side, Seattle could have put us away a whole bunch of times, too. It's, it's, it's a couple of big times these cats had their hands on the ball for our crucial interceptions that would have just ended the game. You know what I'm saying? And they dropped a couple of big ones too. So it's like, either way, it could have won. If we would have won this game, mad motherfuckers would have been saying how we should have lost. You know what I mean? So the, the game was so topsy-turvy. The lead the games multiple times or whatever. It could have it it went either way. And I'm, I'm not mad at the loss. Not at all. I'm happy with how my guys played considering the circumstances and then um like Garoppolo all of a sudden he just lost his cool like on in that second to last drive or that last drive this motherfucker just had happy feet he was trying to throw the ball away yo. it was like it was almost like <laughs> this dude freaking was paid off out of this bitch Hold up. Where am I? my bad my bad but yeah he was all they was almost trying to give the game away well Floyd said I'm not I'm not how am I mad if we eight and one? How am I mad? I feel like if you over a certain age, like if you like 45, like plus 50 years old, like certain slang shouldn't be in your vocabulary. Like you mad, you mad. And if you a man, like only women say stuff like that. But anyway, um, nah, not mad at all. Real happy, real happy for my guys. We did good. Still eight and one, still on top of the NFL. We got beat by the second best team in the NFL. Like we did good, yo. We got it in, man. You know, but this is why I, this is why I don't understand. Like, it was like Patriots fans heckling, like happy that we lost. Like, since when 
was it ever like a Patriots Niners uh, rivalry? Never was. Never was no type of rivalry. In the past 20 years, the Patriots have clearly been the better team than the 49ers. The Patriots have clearly been the best team in the NFL. So why the fuck the Patriots happy that the 49ers lost? Like, what the fuck? What did we ever do to the Patriots for Patriots fans to concern themselves with how we doing? Like, that don't that doesn't make no sense. That's just that that's just pure trolling. You know what I mean? That's just pure hate. Why Patriots fans worried about what 49ers don't? For I man, we ain't been good since 2012, and before that, we ain't been good since 1994. Why the Patriots fans? Why Patriots fans worrying about what we worrying about all loss? Rooting for now. If it was the, if it was the Giants playing, I can understand that because the two uh, Super Bowl losses that the Patriots got within the past 10 years is from the Giants. It's not 10, 15 years. It's from the Giants. So I, I can understand that hate. You know what I mean? Or if it was one of their rivals, if it was like the Jets, or if it was like the Bills or somebody like that, I could understand that hate. What the fuck the Patriots got to do with the Niners? Like that don't make no, that don't make no sense. But I think I know what it is, because the Patriots were so dope. I wasn't talking shit to no Patriots, Byron. I don't fuck. I don't pay attention to no, no damn Patriots. You know what I'm saying? I what well, I don't. And I'm being sports cipher. I don't. I, I haven't seen. Um, I haven't seen uh, Niners fans talking to Patriots. We got no reason to talk to y'all. We told it like different divisions. We rarely, we rarely ever see each other. The only thing, the only thing I can see why the Patriots is concerned about the, the Niners, the Patriots and the Steelers are concerned about the Niners because they don't want us to get that ring number six and be in the same category as them. That's why. Even though the, the Pats got that, them, they got them five rings, them six rings quicker than a motherfucker. God damn. They got that shit the last 20 years. Y'all getting a ring every three years, man. Why the fuck y'all worried about what we doing? You know what I'm saying? Let us let us get get our team together and do our thing. Nah, I ain't I haven't seen it, y'all. Point them out. Tag him to this. I haven't seen the past fan that, that was hating. And if and if I mean 49ers fans that was hating on Patriots fans. And if they was hating, tap point them out. I'll call them by myself. We don't got shit that we don't got shit to hate on. Concerning um we don't got nothing to hate on concerning the, the Patriots. We got we, been, we got nothing to hate on concerning the Patriots. Nothing. Zero. Zilch. Nada. That don't make no sense. Some dude was doing this late ass lane merger. He get he got mad at me because I, I kept going. <laughs> But yeah, man, what I was about to say, um, yeah, 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 like, I don't know, like, like, they are happy, Pax fans are happy and shit, that, lost. <laughs> we got the same record, because we about to go to Arizona and smack the motherfuckers, we going, and this is y'all bye week, we're both going to be nine and one, but I, I, I think that's what it is, too, because, um, if we would have won, we would have been nine and oh. And y'all, I think y'all eight and one or whatever. Then we we, we clearly would have been like the best team. Like we would have clearly been the best team. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I see I see what it is. You feel me? I, I see I see what the hatred is for. I, I get it. I guess. You know what I mean? I said I guess I get it. Yeah. But um. But yeah, y'all got y'all got no reason to really. Uh, y'all got y'all got zero reason, man. Y'all doing y'all thing. Y'all sitting pretty, and then um the Giants hate. It was Giants fans. What the fuck? First of all, the Giants is ass. They at the bottom. They probably like the second worst team in the NFL, like bar none. You know what y'all like two and seven, losing to everybody. Team is in shambles. Why y'all worried about winners, man? Why is y'all worried about how you? How your team two and seven Giants fans? How your team two and seven, and y'all worried about us losing against a good team that we could have beat? Like Giants, y'all you know, sit y'all behinds down and worry about your life. <laughs> the 
if y'all if y'all don't sit y'all behinds down and worry about y'all life, worry about you, your organization that's in shambles. You know what I'm saying? Giants fans popping up and y'all laughing. Like when Giants lose, I don't laugh at the Giants at all. It's, I, I'm actually I actually feel sorry for the Giants, man. That shit is pathetic. And then. The, the, the couple of years that y'all got Super Bowls, that shit was lucky as hell. When y'all beat us to go to the Super Bowl, when y'all got y'all first one since like 91 out of this bitch, y'all won that shit off of a, our, our, our freaking punt returner, I think, um, Williams or whatever, a kickoff returner. That nigga fumbled two times. Huh? Two times. You know, we gave, we gave that shit away to y'all. We should have six right now. Really, we should have seven, to be honest with y'all. So you, you welcome very much for beating the 49ers to get to the Super Bowls that y'all bum ass Giants won. Why, why there's no Giants Niners rivalry either. That, not, that rivalry ended like in 1991. There's no Giants Niners. So why the hell is Giants worried about what the 49ers do? I could see if it was Dallas or some shit. That's a big time rivalry. I get it. What the fuck the Giants worry about what the Niners is doing, man? I just jealous because y'all don't y'all stink. That's suck ass garbage. And then I seen a couple of Saints fans popping up talking shit. That we lost. Why the fuck is the Saints? Why the Saints worry about what the Niners? There's no Saints Niners rivalry. None. Saints, y'all got one championship. Two or five. There's no Saints uh, Niners rivalry. Period. And I, I fucks with Drew Brees. I like Drew Brees. I like Kamara. You know, I, I like I like I like a lot of the I like a lot of their players, man. But there's no there's no Saints Giants rivalry. Side of Saints, yeah, there's no, there's no rivalry with anybody with the Giants. My bad. There's no Saints Niners rivalry. Like, let's understand. Like, you know, what I'm saying losing teams happy that a winning team lose. I kind of get it though, because you know when you win and everything, you kind of seem like the bully. You know, so when you finally get a loss, everybody's cheering. But we're not really Goliath though. We're not really Goliath like that. The Patriots, Goliath. I could understand why people cheer. When the Patriots lose because they all they fucking been winning, winning, winning. In the last five years, they got three shot titles. I get the Patriots hate. When you win all the time, you're gonna get that hate. The Niners, yo, dude, we have not been good since 2012, 2011. So where is this hate, this random hate? But I also get it too because you know we're the we're the only we were the last undefeated team. So I, I get why motherfuckers is gleeful and shit that we lost. But I just Certain teams that are gleeful about it, like Patriots fans, don't have no reason to be gleeful about the 49ers losing because there is no Patriots 49ers rivalry. Yo, guy, you guys in the past 20 years are clearly, clearly the better team. If anybody should be hating when the, a loss happens, we should be hating on y'all because y'all lose. But 49ers fans ain't haters. We respect motherfuckers that get it in. If you if you was in that stadium. It felt like a stadium last night in movie theater. It was a couple of Seattle fans. The Seattle fans didn't get beat up. We didn't curse. We can we conducted ourselves. We was really really dignified. But if it was some meathead Patriots fans or some Giants fans, fucking brawl for the, for the few Seattle fans that was in there. But it was it was fun. It was like a hundred Niners fans. It was like three or four Seattle fans. And my Indian homeboy Raj, that's another nigga. Raj, he's on. He used to own the bar. The um. The liquor store on New Britain Avenue in Hartford. This nigga was cheering for both sides. I finally, I was like, nigga, who was he cheering for? Seattle? Or was he cheering for the Niners? He's like, I don't give a fuck. I'm a Patriots fan. Why the fuck was a Patriots fan at that game? It was really in the stadium. That's, yo, watching a football game in a movie theater is a great experience. That's an awesome fucking experience. Like it's so loud, it's so live, it's so big, it's so close. Pause. You feel like you actually in the game. And I'm like, why is Patriots fans in here? Patriots is going to play. Let me think of a big team, a division. If the Patriots is playing like the Buffalo Bills and they have that game at that movie theater, I'm not going to be at that game. I'm not going to be at that game. There's another reason why the Patriots are so good. They fucking yeah, it was in a the movie theater, yo. Yeah, Floyd. Yo. This is a movie theater called Front uh, Front Street Movie Theater, um, downtown Hartford. But then it's called something else, but it's on Front Street. Yeah, they they 
Um, I guess some um, uh, whoever they rented out the theater and shit. It was like a hundred of us in that motherfucker. That shit was live. Check my check my Facebook. I did a couple of Instagram posts. Yo, that shit was mad live. Like we was actually at the actual game. Even though the waitress walking in front of me like a motherfucker, and then she dropped a whole tray and beer splashed to my fucking. Air Maxes, my white Air Max, but it was dirty anyway, so I don't care. But yeah, that shit was in the theater, man. That shit was dope, man. They project, they projected that game in a motherfucking movie theater. That was a, that was an awesome experience. If I was a drinker, man, I would have been fucked up, talking mad shit. But I don't drink no more. Though. But man, why well, was Patriots fans in there? But, but I get it too. The two best teams banging out, seven and two versus eight and one. You dig? So I get it. I get why people want to. It's prime. It's prime time television. It was a lot of cool motherfuckers from Hartford, but you know the 49ers fans. We conducted ourselves very well. Motherfuckers wasn't talking shit and yeah. Last year, yeah, that Seahawks Niners game. You know they they gonna put it back on that screen if, if Monday night. I don't know. I don't know if they can rent it for Sunday. I'm, I'm not sure. I'll, I'll, I'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll try to see if they have a calendar because this isn't the first time that those 49ers fans rented out rented out that um that, that uh, movie theater. But that shit was off the chain. It was like actually being at a game though. That 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 was a great. I felt like I was at a football game, man. I felt like I was at an actual game. Bro. That was that was awesome. Just to see so much, so much, so much Niner support. I didn't know it was that much Niner support on Hartford, but you know, whenever you got like a team that win a lot of championships, it's gonna be a lot of support. And in the Hartford area, there's a lot of support. Let me tell you all the support. Obviously, it's Patriots support, right? There's obvious, there's major Giants support. Giants and Patriots major and Cowboys. Those are the fucking three. All those teams got multiple championships, so that makes sense. Then there's a um, there's a lot of Steelers. There's a lot of support for Steelers in Hartford, too. Hell yeah. And then there's a lot of 49ers support. You know what I mean? Every now and again, you see a little Seattle. You see a little Saints here and there. You know what I mean? How many championships an NFL team has, you know what I'm saying, pretty much dictates how many fans that they're going to be, regardless of what town you're in. The more championships a team has, the more you're going to see their fans within the town. Because a lot of team, a lot of times people just like teams because they 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 win in the championship. Hey Floyd, you a 49 you a 49ers fan? If you're a Niners fan, my bad. I was talking shit to you like you was a Giants fan. My fault. You said I was mad though. Like that is if you're a Niners fan and you think I'm mad because of this loss, I'm not mad at all. I'm not mad. I think I think we look really, really, really good. We just gotta get our boy Kittle back. We gotta get our weapons back. You can't lose all of your fucking wide receivers like that. And you're not gonna run against Seattle. Like they they our running game, they shut that shit the fuck down. That shit was an LD lockdown, man. That wasn't happening. But Carson um Seattle, he was he was running his ass off of. He was getting But yeah, man. Patriots fans. Saint, don't hate on us because we lose, man. There's no rivalry with the Giants. That shit's been dead for over 25 years. There's no rivalry with the Patriots. The Patriots are the fucking better team. We we trying to get on y'all level. You know what I mean? Y'all got no reason to hate on us. Oh, you a Seahawks fan? Oh, that's what's up. Yo, you know what's funny? Like I fucks with I fucks with the Seahawks though. I'm I'm not a Seahawks hater. Ever since y'all had, ever since y'all had Sean Alexander, yo, I'm not a Seahawks. Y'all get it in. I like, I like Russell, uh, Russell Wilson. I like fucking Richard Sherman, even when he played for y'all, even when he watched our dreams and got the big interception against fucking uh, Crabtree years ago in the NFC Championship game. I'm not mad. I'm not mad at y'all dudes. Y'all get it in, man. I got, I got much respect for Seattle. But when it comes to us, when it comes to Seattle versus the Niners, I'm gonna pick I'm gonna pick the Niners. But I'm not I'm not a hater, I'm not a hater of no team though. That's not how I'll get down. I don't say ha 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 you lost and shit. Like that's corny to me. Like that shit is good for you, man. I've never I've never been that type to be happy because another team loses. Like, I've never unless it has playoff impl implications. But other than that, like, I don't know. 
I don't get that emotion, emotionally invested. It's not, it's not that serious. It's kind of childish. I feel like people that act like that, that's like when you're like 11 years old or 10 years old and you don't really got like control over your emotions and shit. And you know what I'm saying? Your whole life is predicated on a team, a football team that you're not on and you have nothing to do with. The only reason why you have any association with the team is because you, you arbitrarily decided that you like this team. Like, sport is kind of corny, but it, it, it gives you a sense of entitlement. It makes you feel good. Like, it makes you, it's a feel good. It's a drug. It's dope. I like it. Just talking to y'all, just being there that night, man. Yeah, we got some tough games, but I, I think we're going to be fine. Because it wasn't like, Yo, in the NFL, you're supposed to beat the shit out of bad teams. We've been beating teams by like 30. That's what you're supposed to do. The good game, we lost, yeah, but there was extenuating factors. We had a brand new kicker, so our veteran kicker wasn't there. Our top tight end, top offensive player, Kittle, wasn't playing. Our second offensive player got hurt in the second damn quarter. You know what I'm saying? And we relying on a rookie kicker to fucking make us win the game. Even with that, we still lose in overtime. Even though um, Seattle lost Lockett. But I feel like Seattle, last night, they had the better running game. They definitely had the better quarterback. Russell Wilson's arguably the best quarterback in the league. Him and Lamar Jackson, man. Those are the best quarterbacks in the league, man. No, I, I get emotional, too. True fans get emotional, but I feel it's childish to be happy that another team lost that has nothing to do with your team. Now, if it's me against you, I can understand Seattle fans being happy. You guys won the game. That makes sense. What the fuck the Patriots got to do with the 49ers? That's what that's my question. In the title of my in the title of my video, do you see me say anything about Seattle fans? Do you see me hate on Seattle one time? Where? Where in this in this whole video did I hate on Seattle? I'm waiting. I said props. I said we couldn't tackle that motherfucker Russell Wilson. He got busy. That shit was awesome. It's definitely division divisional rivalry. My my question is, uh, um, think Floyd, you from you from Mount Vernon, right? So you should be either a Jets, a Giants, or a Bills fan. How the fuck you like Seattle? I know why I like San Francisco. This is why I like San Francisco 49ers, man. Right? Like 1987, 87, 88, they were playing the Cincinnati Bengals in the Super Bowl. My mother always watches the Super Bowl. When my mom watches the Super Bowl, right, she always picks a team that she wants to win. When the Niners was playing the Bengals, my mother was like, I want the 49ers to win. So I started liking the team that my mother liked. So the reason why I like the 49ers, and my mother don't like the Niners more. She picks a, she pick a new team every year. The reason why I like the 49ers it's because my mom's like the 49ers. So that's why I started like the 49ers when I was like seven or eight years old. I remember my boy Will, Will Waters. He's a barber or whatever. Um, when, the, when the Niners, when I used to still get my hair cut, like in 2011, 2012. 2011, we was getting busy. That's when Kaepernick was, Kaepernick was made. And uh, hold on. Will is a Colts fan. He's like, man, he's like, why you, why you like the 49ers? How you like them? I said... I said I liked them since like 87, 88. I was like a little kid. My mother picked them, so I, I just went with who am I like? He said, well, it's easy to like them because they had Roger Craig and Tom Rapman and Jerry Rice and Janet Taylor. You picked a team with all them good players. I was like, nigga, I was an eight-year-old kid. I didn't understand the concept of that shit. I just like who the fuck my mother liked, which is sound logic. This motherfucker did not want to hear it. This, this nigga was judging me like I was a 30-year-old dude, a 30-year-old man. At the time, I was 32 of years old. He made it seem like I picked the 49ers that year. He's like, man, I never heard you talk about the 49ers before. Because you know what? From like, ever since T.O. left, from like 2002 to like 2011, it wasn't really nothing to talk about with the 49ers. We always was losing. If we was going to talk about the Niners, it was talking about us losing, talking about us having bad management and just shuffling quarterbacks and shuffling and changing coaches. I still paid attention to my team. I still was a fan of my team. What the fuck am I going to celebrate? It's like if you got a spouse and your spouse dying of cancer and shit like that. And people are like, yo, you don't never talk about your wife. I'm like, my, my, my wife is in a fucking hospital bed dying of cancer. Why am I going to constantly talk about my wife having cancer every single day? We're going through a hard time right now. And I'm not talking about this shit. But now my wife is in remission. The cancer has been cured. 
And there's something to talk about. When people are winning and when people are successful, logically, you have something to talk about. Duh. I, I, I hate when people be like, oh, oh, you wasn't talking about your team in the last few years. If my team is always losing, what the fuck am I going to talk and brag about? Because as soon as I brag about my team that's 1-11 and they get that one victory, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers going to say, why are you talking? Your team don't win anyway. So I can't talk when my team win and I can't talk when my team don't win. There's these motherfucking dumbass illogical stands that Pat stands and Giant stands and all these other bullshit ass stands that just talk shit. They just basically don't want you to talk in general. And they will argue both sides just so you don't talk about your team. If your team losing a lot, why are you talking about your team? And then, and if you talk about your team, if you don't talk about your team, well, I ain't hear you talking about your team. But you just told me if my team losing a lot, why am I talking about my team? So I stayed quiet about my team. And you was like, see, you wasn't talking about your team. Niggas got stupid ass. Like, my fuck is stupid as fuck, man. Sports fans is dumb as shit. And when I break this logic down like this and make it make sense, that's why motherfuckers don't like me. Because I'm. it's not that I'm smart. I'm just too logical for my own good, man. I'm too logical for my own good. My fuck is mad because I'm talking about my team when they winning. But, and they mad because I wasn't talking about my team when they was losing. But then when I'm talking about my team when they winning, they saying, why you wasn't talking about your team when you was losing though? And if I talk about my team when I'm losing, why are you talking about your team? Y'all losing. Make up y'all fucking mind, y'all retarded. Y'all some retarded motherfuckers. That don't make no sense, but. Pats fans, shut the fuck up. There's no reason for y'all to be happy that we lost. Our loss does not affect y'all at any any way, shape, form, or fashion. Us losing won't affect the fact that uh, uh, it doesn't uh, affect uh, you guys um, having home field advantage or anything like that. If we beat now, now I can see if it, if there's playoff if implications, right? And you need a certain team that's playing the 49ers to win in order for you guys to get home field advantage or some shit like that. Or some some weird scenario like that, you know what I'm saying? If you need some weird shit like that to happen, then I can I can understand Pat's fans rooting for us to lose and being happy that we lost. Or if we actually play the Patriots in the Super Bowl and y'all beat us, then I can understand Pat's fans being happy that we lost. But we're playing a divisional game against an NFC team, not an AFC team, has nothing to do with y'all playoff implications it has absolutely nothing to do with you in any way shape form or fashion and y'all hopping on Niners pages happy that we lost that shit corny boo nigga that shit is corny as a motherfucker y'all need to grow the fuck up but you know it's football it is what it is it comes with the territory I can understand like the ignorance and the child. I, I get it. It's, it's sports, but there's no Patriots Niners rivalry that makes absolutely no sense. Why you're happy? I get why Patriots fans are happy when Giants lose because the Giants is the is the David that slew Goliath twice. They fucked up y'all undefeated season. I get why Patriots fans are happy when Cowboys lose because even though the Patriots literally they're called Patriots and they should be called America's team. Because they literally got the colors and all that shit, what have you. I get it. And Dallas fans pop hella shit. And they ain't do shit in 25 years. But the, the wild thing is, ever since T.O. went to Dallas, in some ways, I, I, I rock with Dallas, too. I, I don't hate Dallas. You know what I'm saying? I root for Dallas if they're if they, if the Niners, if they not playing the Niners. Fuck yeah. But, um... But the Patriots like hating on the Niners, though. We're not Dallas. Patriots is not the Dallas Patriots. And I mean, 49ers is not Dallas. The 49ers is not the Giants. There's no reason for y'all to hate on us, man. Now, the the seventy the seventy two Dolphins. I I, I understand that. Like the seventy two Dolphins, I get. Because the 72 Dolphins, when a team is about to go undefeated, 
the 72 Dolphins, they want to be the they, they want to be known as the only team. Hold up, give me a second. The 70 the 72 Dolphins, they want to be known as the only team that totally went undefeated and um, got a uh, got a Super Bowl. So I could I could understand I can understand why the Dolphins um what the fuck am I saying? I can understand why the Dolphins hate, like if a team about to go undefeated. But even like the Dolphins being happy, like the 49ers, we was doing good, but I didn't I didn't I didn't get the undefeated vibe yet. Because yes, we, we beat a couple of teams that was over 500, but you know what I'm saying? We we still beat up on a lot of bad competition. So it didn't it didn't have it, this when we when we almost lost to the Redskins on this team. So this team didn't have the feel of an undefeated season to me. That's why I wasn't that's why it, it doesn't make sense that the Dolphins were so happy because it wasn't it wasn't like we were steamrolling like real good teams and shit like that. So the Dolphins being happy that we lost, I get it, but it was only like game eight. You know what I'm saying? But hey, better earlier than better earlier than later. Better earlier than later. Though. Much much better earlier than later, man. You know what I'm saying? So. You know what I'm saying? I'm, uh, I, I I get it. Like the Dolphins, I get it. The Dolphins don't. They want to. They they want to be known as the only team that's undefeated. Dolphin. The Dolphins is like fucking Rocky Marciano, man. Like, <laughs> they beat a lot of bums. Now nah, I'm just joking. I, I don't. I wasn't alive in the '70s to, 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 to see that Dolphins run. If you're a Dolphins fan, you know what I'm saying, bragging about your championships, and you ain't never seen them win no motherfucking championship. Man, shut, shut the fuck up, man. If you wasn't live when they won championship, man, get out of here, man. I don't want to hear that. Dude, shit. You're silly. You're silly. You're silly. You said, saying, what is, Floyd, man, is you, like, are you slow, my nigga? Like, I didn't say fans couldn't watch football. I'm saying that people be being happy for the wrong shit. Like, people be, people be being happy about situations that have nothing to do with their team. That's what I'm saying. You look, you remedial, man. Floyd, do you take Ritalin? Man, I had to drop something off. Yeah, but um, you say most kids don't watch football. You missing? You missing what I'm? What the fuck kids got to do with anything? Floyd, what are you talking about? I'm saying, if your team won championships before you was even born, don't celebrate the championships of your team that happened before you even existed. That shit is corny. That's what I say about a lot of Yankees fans. We got 27. We got 27. We got, we got 27 championships. And it's like, dude. You got 27, but you only witnessed four of them in your life. Like 25 of those happened between before 1970. Like, what did you you celebrating because you was born, right? And then all of a sudden you's like, I'm a Yankees fan. Oh shit, we got 20 chips. Like, being a, being a, like, a new Yankees fan, like being a Yankees fan, like after like 1985 or whatever, it's like being born and just inheriting a lot of money. Yeah, it's like being born and just inheriting a lot of money. 
You didn't go through no type of struggle. You were just born with fucking 27. You was born with motherfucking 25, 22 chips or whatever it is. Because I've, I've seen, um, I've seen personally seen the Yankees, I think, win like three. Since I've really started paying attention to baseball. but Because I remember, I remember them getting one in like 96, 97, 98. They won like three or four of them shit, something like that. In the past like 20 years... The Yankees, I'm a, I'm a Sox fan, but in the past 20 years, the Yankees and the Red Sox got pretty much about the same championships. Same amount, about three. My bad, my bad, my bad. I forgot what I was, what, what was I talking about? What was I talking about? I, I lost my footing. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta jog my memory where I was at. Where I was at. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? All these fans bragging and shit. About championships that they 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 inherited before they was born, man. That's like inherited inheriting money. Oh shit, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a Yankees fan. Even even nowadays, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a Niners fan. We got five champions. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, that happened before your energy. And I really do believe in energy in the universe, and I believe like a lot of energy you put out helps positive things happen. Even your team win. But if you wasn't alive. For the teams they had before you were even in existence, don't brag about this. Fans, we definitely have something to do with our teams winning. You know, from our support, for our we put out there. But if your positive vibes wasn't in, in existence when your team was getting championships before you was even a sperm cell in your father's nutsack, shut the fuck up bragging about champ being a Yankees fan and shit, bragging about shit that happened before you was even like a thought. Get out of here with that bullshit. I talk about I talk about the three championships that I witnessed in my 49ers win. I don't I don't talk about the other two in the, in the early 80s. I talk about the three. We got five, but I, I witnessed three of them shits. So, you know what I mean? I don't talk about them early 80s joints at all. No sir, no sir, pal. Yeah, but this video uh, this was fun. This was a good time. Um, I'm about to hop on this man And finish listening to some Joey Diaz Joey Diaz you cocksucker I'm gonna fucking take this star debt And it's gonna put you on the ground Subterranean You mooks I know Joey Diaz be this. He be saying nigga sometimes He done said it a couple times Joey, Joey used the n-word around Mike Tyson one time But he was telling us He was telling a story So it wasn't really his him saying it It was in the context of the story that he was telling me about. Joey Diaz is a beast. Any of y'all young upper up comments want to know about comedy and the business and, 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 and the struggles and trials and tribulations that go along with the journey that it is that we know as uh, comedy? Watch Joey Diaz. That's all I'm going to say. I'm out. My lips is mad, chapped, and ashy, but it's all good. Hashtag everybody need more green. Type in that hashtag. Everybody need more green. I holla at y'all. Peace.